Hi, my name is Aaliyah Rings, and today I will be informing you on the rampage shooting that took place at the Henry Pratt Company in Aurora, Illinois. This rampage took place on the afternoon, on a Friday afternoon, February 15th. The Henry Pratt Company, located in Aurora, Illinois, is one of the country's largest manufacturers of valves for the potable water, wastewater, power generation, and industrial markets. It soon took a turn on that Friday when Gary Martin began his rampage. Who is Gary Martin? Gary Martin was the shooter of the Henry Pratt Company and had been a worker there for 15 years prior to him moving to illinois he had a felony in mississippi in 1995 he was sentenced to 10 years but was cut short to five he was reportedly released on april 18th 1997 this felony had to do with being abusive to his ex-girlfriend um martin then went to purchase a handgun in Mississippi. And knowing that he had a felony, he wrote no on his paperwork that he had felony issues in the past. But Martin's conviction was flagged only days after he bought the handgun in 2014 and was supposed to relinquish it. But the police, unfortunately, did not follow up with Gary, so he kept the gun. Scott Hall, the CEO of the Henry Pratt Company, said that Martin passed his background check when he was hired 15 years ago. So Gary had to be lying on his paperwork that he had um, to get on at the Henry Pratt Company. What happened on this terrible day at the Henry Pratt Company? Martin was called to an office at the Henry Pratt Company. It is unknown if Martin knew anything about him going to be terminated on this day, but sources say he had been going through a disciplinary procedure with the company and had been written up previously. So Martin, prior to this shooting, had anger built up with him, with this company, about his disciplinary issues. And... According to sources, he was a troubled worker. That's why he was in this disciplinary procedure. So after the termination meeting ended, Martin then proceeded to take out his pistol and began killing people. He gunned down a human resources manager, a plant manager, an intern on his very first day, and two other workers and one wounded colleague. Martin then proceeded to hide in the back of the facility when he found out that police were coming. And he later died in this shootout between him and the officers. So, Gary Martin obviously knew that he was going to be terminated on this day. That's why he had his handgun. Now, um, CEO of the Henry Pratt Company says that he will look into on his behalf on his shortcomings of why this happened and how did they let this background and his background of being a previous felon slip up on their hands and you cannot slip up on those type of things knowing you have employees to take care of. So what can companies do to prevent violence after firing someone? I think first, you should help employees long before they get fired by providing employee assistance programs that regularly provide counseling for personal issues outside of the workplace. Um, I feel like you should not have a uniform security guard when employee is getting terminated. The side of a uniform guard raises emotional temperature, making them look as though they are a threat. And you do not want that employee to feel that type of way. I think you should stay alert after an employee gets fired. Employers should keep in touch with the person's friend to make sure there is no violence being planned. This could be up to two weeks, even to two years. People still have that anger built up. And lastly, don't give advance notices on if they're going to be terminated because obviously Martin knew that he was going to be terminated on this day and that's why he unfortunately had a handgun.